uh, get ready for a treat for your ears. An ensemble of some of the region's most accomplished sopranos will be performing later this week. We spoke with the organizer of the event that is called Sopranos Slay to find out all about it. Uh, what we did was we recognized the fact that sopranos, divas who sing opera, have been slaying throughout history. So what we wanted to do was to showcase those divas in sopranos slaying. Okay, and you've got ladies who are well known around the region for their work and yes, their voices. Yes, we do. We have eight different sopranos, and Angelie is one of them. Very well known, beautiful, beautiful voice. And they'll be performing a variety of uh, solo pieces in opera and other genre, as well as some ensemble work. Okay, and Angelie yes. Ferret, yes. tell us a little bit about what you will be doing in this production. Well, in this, this production, I will be doing an uh, aria, which is called A non credea mirarti um, a non giunge. And in the first part of the aria, the, 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 the heroine, she's sad and she's melancholy because she's feeling like she's lost her lover. However, in the second part of the aria, she realizes that he's loved her all along, and so she's happy and singing joyfully. So it's a duality. I'm singing first sad, and then now I'm happy. So I have to put on two different hats right away. So um, that's what I love about classical music. You know, it, you just up and down, up and down, and um, it's a merry-go-round of, of emotions, and you get to portray that. And it, it's human life. It's, it's the human experience. So um, that's what I'll be doing. In a bit about your background because I think it's good and part of what this organization does is introduce people of color to the fact that people of color can do yes, this. Yes. And we support uh, African-American classical musicians and others in the performing arts by bringing color to the classics. Absolutely. And Angelie is a, a wonderful, wonderful testimony to that. Endeavor. Yes, and I was going to just say, tell me a little bit about your background and how you got started and got involved in uh, the opera. And the opera. Okay, yes. Well, I grew up in a very musical family, singing in the church, uh, raised in the church. And um, then I went on to school, and um, my public school teacher in junior high, uh, uh, Manita Jones, she really cultivated that, uh, that first step to, um, to, to classical music by having me read music and singing in a more refined tone. And she suggested that I then move on to, for high school, um, go to Duke Ellington School of the Arts and audition for there and um, got in, and that's where I, the whole world of classical just opened up to me. <laughs> Terry, why do you think that um, people of color are more drawn to, let's say, R&B and the m mainstream sort of music, and maybe less to yes. opera and the classical? Well, you know, that's always been a challenge, because we know traditionally our community is drawn to R&B and, and hip-hop and uh, gospel, and there's nothing wrong with those genres. But when you find a, a, a five-year-old playing the violin, or a seven-year-old playing the piano and being very interested in it, you know that there is that underlying um, uh, want to be able to perform. What is not encouraged in our community, unfortunately, what CAPA tries to do is to encourage our young people. We have wonderful youth-oriented programs that take from preschool all the way up, and uh, we try to encourage the sound of opera. In addition to being a good old time here, yes. this is the money from this is going to benefit a few things, right? Yes, it will benefit not only our Opera for Fun Youth Outreach Program, which is a variety of different, uh, we do a mini Mozart master class, so we're excited about that. But in addition to that, we also support black classical musicians. Uh, it, we have a um, a concert series called um, Emerging Divas, and Angelie was uh, one of our early, early divas, uh, introducing, it's kind of a, a cotillion or a debutante ball in song. Um, we have that program. We also have an international outreach program, and that has just taken us uh, across the seas. We can't let you go away without <laughs> yes. doing a little something. Yes. All right. Pleasure. Yeah. 
wonderful ladies, wonderful voice. We enjoyed that. We'll hear more from Angelie Ferret at the end of the show, so stick around for that. Also, in terms of the concert, it is going to be on Friday at 8 in the evening at the Bowie Performing Arts Center on Annapolis Road. You see the email and, or I should say, website address there as well if you want more information.